hey, hey, guys, how's it going? I hope all of you are doing great today. Check it out, guys. We are back on our survival single player let's play, chilling out at our automated sorting system. Oh man, I like the sound of that, I really do. And check it out guys, we did some mining at the beginning of the episode, and we have some loot, yeah. I said in the previous episode that we we really ran out of redstone, and yeah, we, we were pretty lucky, we got a whole bunch of redstone, and also some diamonds, so yeah, I hope you liked that little time lapse at the beginning, it's been really fun. And yeah, yeah like I said, it, it's been a lot of fun just mining a whole bunch of stuff. Anyways guys, check it out. We have actually sorted through all of our items which were scattered around all of our base. So we had a whole bunch of shulkers and some chests over there at the killing chamber for the iron golems. And there was a whole bunch of shulker boxes just stored into, into nooks and crannies and chests. And I, I don't know where, we, where, where they were, but we found them. And this was, yeah, this was the way that I filled up the entire sorting system. <laughs> what I did was place down a hopper and hook up a whole bunch of chests and just fill them up with items. And I think it took around maybe an hour, hour and a half for all of the items to go through. And check it out, we have quite a few items which aren't sorted in the sorting system. Say for example, redstone repeaters, redstone comparators. And what I'm gonna do in between episodes here and there, just, you know, just go over here and just find a nice spot for all of these items to go to. That is the plan which I'm gonna do so that we have a nice sorting system. And it's, yeah, and it looks really nice. I mean, check it out. It's, yeah, it's it's really, it, it feels really nice just checking out all of those chests. <laughs> Anyways, guys, what is the plan for this episode? Well, believe it or not, I'm actually recording this stuff after work and I am in a building mood. I really want to wind down from a nice long day of work and just play some Minecraft. It's been really fun. I say it again and again. It's been really fun just working on these episodes and building and yeah, I have an idea. So today I want to focus on this area. I've mentioned it a bit. I've mentioned about it in the previous episode. What I want to do is make this place look more like a cave. I mean, pretty right now it's just a, a box and I want to change that. So what I want to do is, first of all, maybe remove the floor. So all of these blocks right here and fill it with water. Because I think it looks really nice. It kind of gives it the little, yeah, a little sense of danger when you have water next to redstone. It's going to look really sweet. So yeah, that's the first plan. And then of course, take out all of these, uh, all of these blocks right here, make it look natural, curve the walls, and just make the whole thing nice. And then we'll have the path pretty much go around here, maybe, maybe a little further, so that we have a nice viewing area of the redstone. That is the plan, guys. That is, well, that's the first plan for the first part of the episode. And you know me, guys, I don't need to say it, right? You know what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a time lapse out of it. So, I'm gonna quit talking and yeah, let you guys grab your popcorn and grab your favorite designated beverage. And I guess, let's get this episode started.
And check it out, guys. We have decorated the sorting system, at least a couple of modules of it. And it's looking super sweet, if I can say so myself. Yeah, I really like it. I really do like it. I definitely also don't think that the lanterns are overkill. I really think that just adding that many lanterns gives it a really cool touch. I don't know, it really gives it a sort of oriental or tropical feel, especially with the leaves and the and the bamboo and the sugar cane right there. Yeah. Another really cool thing is we're actually in a warm ocean here, so the water is this bright blue, which really gives it... which. Yeah, I think it's the contrast between the bright blue and the gray and green, which which really make this thing look really cool. Yeah. So as you can see, guys, there's there's no path just yet going from here all the way to over there. And the reason being is I, I had two ideas, which I'm really not too sure yet which one I wanted to go for. The first one being that I want to have a path going around the backside here. Maybe also have a small bridge over this gap here and then extend the path behind the beacon right over there. And the second idea what, that I had was to build a sort of wavy wooden bridge. So I want to have like this this wooden bridge slowly like how do you explain it? Maybe maybe like to snake down here and yeah, to, to connect this area all the way over there. But I'm not too sure yet, so I'll put that on hold. There's another thing which I really want to do, and that is to tackle this... To tackle the ceiling, guys. That's right. Let me get out of this water. I want to put a glass roof on this thing, because this is basically at the water level. I, I It's only a couple of blocks that we have to remove, so what I want to do is I want to create a really awesome... Uh, window right on top of here so that we can look from from the ocean into this sorting system. I think it's gonna look really sweet and I'm gonna go do that so yeah let me quickly do that and I'll catch you when we're done. All right so we're in the ocean right above our storage storage room and if we go through here I've dug out a little area as you can see I've stopped the water so that this thing doesn't flow all the way into our sorting system but as you can see, our sorting system is actually visible from here. So what I want to do is just place down a whole bunch of glass somewhere around here that we can then see from the bottom of the sorting system. And then I'm not too sure. Maybe we'll hollow this out, maybe make a cave, maybe fill it with water, have some fun. That's the first thing I want to do. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. I want to have some fun and I'll do that. So catch you guys in a bit. And check it out guys, it's a new day for me. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the episode, of course, of course the dolphin's gonna go away. What I was gonna say, the dolphin that goes absolutely crazy when he's here. I think, like I said, it's pretty much because of the uh, item elevator which has all of the items going into the water stream. Which is pretty cool, yeah, I like that. Anyways guys, check it out what, what I've done. We have hollowed out a cave and I really like this. I really like that you can now see the redstone from the side, from the top, and it just it just gives the redstone a whole lot a whole other dimension, which I really like. But yeah, I've given it some thought and I wanna decorate this place. That's what I wanna do. I wanna add the stairs, the slabs, make this look a lot more yeah, a lot more stony, a lot more nicer. And then perhaps even have a little tunnel which goes, you know, out here to the to the ocean, there you can see it. And then maybe flood this thing, yeah, we'll have a think about it. Maybe we'll add, I don't know if we'll add some some special function to this place, but I think it's definitely gonna be just a nice thing that you can swim through and then, yeah, get around the base with. All right guys, that's what I'm gonna do, and as always, you know me, I like to do it, uh, bleh bleh. I like to do a time lapse, guys, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the time lapse. Alright guys, so I've cut the time lapse a little short. It's looking alright, but there's definitely something which I want to do, which I can't really do in a time lapse, and that is 
Guys, we, we built this little cave right here, and I thought, you know, since we're gonna fill this whole area up with water, what if we leave a cave right, right over here, filled with air instead of water, you know, by placing down some glass, and then we can actually put some animals behind there. I don't know, I think it would be pretty cool. Maybe it's a little harsh for the animals, but you know what? We can put a cow behind there, that's all right. They're, they're not really animals, right? Cows aren't. Mushrooms are. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and get myself a cow. And then what I want to do... Hang on, let me, let me go out real quick and show you the guys this. What I want to do is then... I think what I'm going to do is build a, a little air chute, which goes all the way to the top of the water surface right here. And then we can drop the cow right down into there. That is the plan. Ooh, or maybe I'll actually do it with... Um, what do you call those things? With with the bubble columns, with some magma blocks, that sucks them down as well, right? I think that should be possible. They might take some damage, but I think that would almost be easier. Yeah, guys, I think I'm going to do that, but first of all, we need to get a cow. So let me get a cow, and then I'll catch you when we got a cow. That's right. Now, guys, I know you're going to hate me, but I have a much better idea. That's right. <laughs> We're going to get this panda back to our base that's right no cows i think a panda is gonna do it yeah do, do they even follow you with uh with bamboo oh that's so cute <laughs> all right guys let me get this panda back to our base and i'll get catch you when we're back all right guys even better idea we've put him in a boat and now all we have to do you, you don't take fall damage when you go off a cliff right i mean I'm, I'm sure we're gonna find out but all we have to do is just go down here He's alive. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. That that was bad. Hang on, guys. Hang on. <laughs> All right, guys. He's in the boat. And we're going to hop in now and just head off to our base. That was a close one. Yeah, he almost died. Which, which would have been really unfortunate, but I'm pretty sure we would have gotten a few more pandas. Anyways, guys, we're pretty much at our base right now. So what I'm going to do is prepare everything and try to get the panda into the cave. All right, guys, check it out. I think we're ready. We've basically built a, what is this? A sand, a sand chute? <laughs> a little chimney for the, the panda to go down and then he can fall into a water, into a water source, which hopefully shouldn't harm him. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is hop into the boat and with him, just go, come on. I need to break some blocks. Hang on. With him, just slowly. Slowly. Nope, not yet. <laughs> all right, we're going to block the water off here. And he'll slowly go all the way down. And he's safe, guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, this is epic. All right. <laughs> we have a panda in here. Now the rest of what we have to do is decorate. Well, first of all, clean this thing up and decorate this place. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll catch you guys once we're done. All right, guys, we've decorated the place. Now there's only one more thing left to do. And that is get this guy out of here. So what I'm going to do is turn on hitboxes. And ooh, this is going to be hard. It's going to be hard getting this guy out, huh? I think if I, if I hit him right th there, yeah. There we go, he's out, and guys, <laughs> we now have a panda. <laughs> Does this make me a horrible person that this puts a smile on my face? This almost feels like a, like a Chinese zoo or something. <laughs> oh dear, guys, yep, I'm, I'm going to quit talking about that. So what I'm going to do now is clean up this place and, of course, make the area a little bigger here and then flood this place. I think it's going to look really sweet. And this guy, yeah, he fits in here. It's really sweet. All right, guys, let me do that real quick and I'll catch you once we're back. And there we go, guys. Check it out. The place is filled up with water. We have a nice little place to swim through. And yeah, above all, <laughs> we have a panda underwater. <laughs> this is so horrible, guys, but I love it. I really love it. It's so bad. 
<laughs> oh man, yeah, I had I had a lot of fun this episode, and I I, I really like the design that we got all the way at the bottom there. I really like how this place turned out. All of the redstone, which is exposed, almost getting flooded. It looks really nice. And of course, we have a panda, guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I hope you had fun this episode as well. We did a lot of building, and there's still a whole bunch more that we have to do at that, that I also want to do. One main thing is we need to get a path going from that area all the way over there. I've talked to you about the ideas which I have. I'll, I'll give a think about it for the next episode. There's still a few things which I want to... Which I want to think about, which I want to plan and, you know, get things right. Especially where we're going to need more, more beacons, so more of those are going to be coming very soon. And who knows, we actually will need a wither farm for that, which is going to be really fun. However, guys, I think that's going to be it from me. I hope you liked the episode. Hang on, you know what we're going to do? We got to finish off right in front of our panda butt. That's right. <laughs> I hope you liked the episode, guys. I had a lot of fun. It was it's it was a little horrible, but yeah, it, it turned out really great. I really like this area. So yeah, guys. Oh, and of course, if you have names for the panda, leave them down in the video description. That's right. Who knows? Maybe we'll actually break into the glass again and name the guy. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. All right, guys. That's going to be it from me. If you liked the episode, as always, remember to smash the like button. And I hope you're looking forward to the next episode. It's, it's really going to be a blast. So yeah, that's going to be it from me. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one, guys. And I will see you later.